Welcome back. Now it's time to check this little mushroom house, which says bonus on it. But, but how hard am I going to have to work for that bonus? We've got the yellow switch, we've got, I see the green switch blocks right there. But is there more to it? Uh, and should I... Okay. We'll wait for that platform to go down. Despite being a bonus, I still don't want to touch the lava. Hmm. So, maybe I should clear out any uh, blatant indication that this is going to be a bonus, because I still don't want to die here. And, uh, here we go. Uh, power up for me. And an easy kick, and I am out of here. Taking the leaf with me. Do it again if I wanted. Just getting more of those coins. Build my way up to one-ups, although there's definitely got to be a faster way. Ooh, a fire flower in here. I'll take that. And we get fired up to enter the dubstep house. Sure. So, in we go. But it seems these enemies are not exactly fired up. Uh, Maybe, yeah, maybe the Koopas. Uh, huh. There's a bright side, maybe, in the Thwomp's opinion, for itself being fired up. Uh, still, in theory, Mario would not be able to spin jump off of it. Uh, and maybe you could combine the power of a Sumo Brother. So, why doesn't the Thwomp feel fired up? Why doesn't the Thwomp want to get fired up at all? You should know the possibilities. So, uh, I see that door and I'm going in. And I'm going back in. And I'm going to cleanse the pallet. A little bit slower. <sighs> Eventually I'm gonna go back into the dubstep house though. Well, let's take this. And we're in. You feel golden? Uh, I'll probably be melted in with some sort of gold, though, depending on what was down inside that pit. Blasted invisible coin block again. These golden spikes, too. Oh. Um. Nice, those, uh... Black piranha plants are slightly blink or er, blinking. They're out of sync. Well, no, let's just take this Koopa shell. The right to uh, hmm. You can jump here. Okay, knock that one out. Sure. Yeah, make it around. Spare the others. Maybe. In we go. Now. Oh. Hammer brother. Stop, please. Wait, that that's not really dubstep now, is it? So jump again and back. Back into the dubstep. So he's seen enough of that one. He's also seen enough of the star, so he's not taking it. For whatever reason. Up we go! Level 3 awaits. Level 3 is probably getting impatient because of this long pathway right here. Another classic. We go into the cave, and yes, definitely another classic. We've got uh, Super Mario Bros. 3's actual graphics again. Hmm. Not exactly the pipe, though. A little hybrid of both, as it might seem. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Swim. Uh, Buzzy Beetles. Uh, hmm. You're forgetting that this is not Super Mario Brothers 3, Buzzy Beetles. Uh, if I try to jump on you, I'm still going to be able to knock you out. 
And not get rid of you though, unless of course kicking the shell. Did that count towards uh, the possibility of collecting five for a one-up and knocking it from below? I didn't see anything indicating 1,000 points. At least I don't think I did. So, uh, I'm really not sure if that's going to count towards a one-up. Of course, if I pick up that one, it definitely would. So I do get five. Did really get five. We'll kick again, and we'll wait. Cheap, cheap. Don't be such a cheap shot. Up. Maybe that didn't count, because that said only 1,000 points on it. Need to wait for 8,000 points and then a 1-up, so... I'm definitely not going to get the 1-up from that. I need the arrow up here, though. What changed down below? Something for the better. What is it that we have here? Nothing there. Well, nothing down below either. Let's see. Another arrow! That's what we have! We got this block right here. Some sort of a switch block. And another arrow after that! Gonna be all over the place now, aren't they? Hmm. Well, it's up this way now. And one right here, too. Another arrow in this direction? Sure. And a double arrow. Whoa! Whoa, arrow. Not a switch this time. It's a springboard. So, it's back around like this. And we can finally get... Well, we gotta swim to the top first. As high as possible. Hmm. There we go. Take this mushroom. So we can do this. I didn't need to worry. Take this. Uh, and just 2,000 points, sure. And I keep missing the one-up. Well, we'll cross this bridge. Now, World 4 is not going to be nearly as impatient. Enter the blue caves. But really, how is it going to be able to rival the first level here? Ooh. Maybe you could make Mario even feel even more blue. And of course, with the Koopas, uh, not only do they have blue shells, but they are entirely blue. Along with the Hammer Brothers. Spinies, you're gonna have to learn to blend in. Hmm. Ooh, it's... wait. Squirrel suit, here we come. Good. This could help out here. But where could it help out? Okay. So, uh... Red Koopas are slightly off blue, as are green Koopas. Are we gonna find any yellow Koopas around this level? Are they gonna be green? Because uh, the red ones look kind of purplish, the green ones look kind of teal. Blue ones probably do look blue, so that's why I think yellow ones will look green. And maybe Mario will be green with envy on how he, those Hammer Brothers can survive up there. Hmm. Are they not getting any sort of concussions? Well, let's kick this. And uh, there we go. Well, another Hammer Brother. Take another Fire Flower. I'm surprised I haven't picked up any Ice Flowers in this level. Because, you know, blue caves. Not even blue Yoshi coins. Hmm. We'll take this shell out. Yeah, that's one way to take that. Oh, oh. But don't take that hit. We'll take this mushroom and then, of course, our car. Because I saw the zigzags. Can I 
time it better now. Finally. And there was another Yoshi coin right there. Whatever. I already got my one up. This'll do for now, I hope. Next time.